I could bite into that now. Today, I'm attempting to make vegan paella. So I'm back cooking in my parents' garden. Paella is something that I've always wanted to cook on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to perfect it as much as possible because I know how treasured this dish is to Valencians and Spanish people all around the world. So I remember going to Valencia and walking down the side streets and seeing people cooking paella just in the streets and it smelled and looked so good, massive pans of it. And uh, obviously being vegan, I couldn't get to taste it. And I was so sad that I couldn't come across any vegan restaurants that were actually selling vegan paella. So I decided to veganize my version of paella and what I've come up with, I am very, very proud of. So paella, the name comes from the dish is actually cooked in. Now, a shallow, wide pan like this. This one will serve about six people, but you can get absolutely giant ones. And it's usually cooked over a wooden open fire. And in Valencia, they have loads of orange trees. So often the wood that they use is from orange trees, which adds this amazing smoky orangey flavor to the finished paella. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got any orange wood around me so I'm going to cook it on a gas stove which is what I guess you're going to be cooking on at home anyway and there's generally two types of paellas a seafood one and a meat one and you never ever mix seafood and meat together that would break all paella rules particularly in Valencia um, but obviously being vegan we can't have either so I'm actually going to replicate the meaty version of paella and I'm going to be using mushrooms and trust me when I say that when I cook these mushrooms it's going to actually look and taste like pieces of chicken or meat in the paella when it's done promise you this is going to blow your mind so I'm very excited I'm very excited to be in my parents garden with my parents here and making this amazing paella 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 Paella, 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 not paella, 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 paella. Paella. <laughs> paella. <laughs> okay, so the mushrooms I'm using are oyster mushrooms. I'm going to be using a cluster. You can get these from some good supermarkets in the UK these days. If you can't get the clusters, get the ones that are already torn up and you can use them in the same way or you can use any kind of mushrooms that you get hold of. Cook them in the way that I show you and they're going to get so meaty. So what you need to do is preheat a heavy based pan over a high heat, add some oil and then add your mushrooms. And then I'm going to use another pan to sit on top of the mushrooms, which is going to squeeze out the moisture and make them really meaty. If you haven't got another pan, you could use a heavy saucepan or use just a spatula to press and press them and press them. So all this liquid, you want that to evaporate. So the meatiness is coming from these mushrooms, but I want some veg in there. So I'm going to top and tail some green beans. I'm going to just trim and chop a red pepper, de-seed and skin a couple of tomatoes. I know that some of you are going to say, why are you taking the skins off? It's not totally necessary, but they are quite fibrous running through the, the, the rice in the end result. So I like to take them off because this is going to melt down really beautifully. Um, and you can use the leftover seeds and skins in tomato sauces and things like that for any pasta. After about four minutes of cooking the mushrooms, flip them over and continue to press. I'm also going to give these a little season now as well with some salt and pepper. I love cooking outside. Oh. How's the paella going? Good pronunciation. So this is the mushroom meat. Add some chicken seasoning. Chicken seasoning is just, is vegan. It's just a spice bend. Can be found at all good supermarkets. Generous amount of that going on. If you come back in 45 minutes, the paella should be ready. One thing I will say guys, is that there are some non-Spanish chefs, I'm not going to name any names, that have really upset Valencians and Spanish people with their interpretations of paella. I do not mean to cause any upset. I hope that I am paying homage as best as I can. And I think what, I can, what I've made is pretty amazing when you see it, trust me. I'm just going to finally chop this courgette. Look at them now, look at them. So when your mushrooms are meaty like this, 
they're done. And all that flavor is coated on them beautifully. And these are now ready to go into my paella, which we're gonna start. So I'm gonna get my paella pan preheated. If you haven't got a paella pan, even though they're very cheap to buy on Amazon or place and cookery shops, I'll pop a link below where I got mine from. You can use like a casserole dish and just get it placed over a medium to low heat. First thing you wanna do with a paella pan after putting it on the heat is add some salt. Because if you imagine, we're not gonna stir this paella when it's cooking. And that flavor is gonna come up through the pan, so that's why we need to season it and add a touch of oil. And what you would do traditionally, if you're making a meaty paella, you would add your chicken or rabbit, is what's the traditional meat that I use. So I'm just gonna recreate that, but I'm gonna add my vegan chicken, which is these lovely mushrooms, into the pan. All right, Dad, have a little taste of that. All that? Well, you don't have to do all, but. Mm, really nice. Can you take that for me? You can eat that as well. Or give it to mum. All right, so I'm gonna add my red peppers, then my courgette, green beans, and then tomatoes now. When you make traditional paella and you're cooking with the meat, that takes obviously like 45 to an hour just to cook that meat down. We're skipping that stage because we've already cooked the mushrooms and we're getting our veg in. So I really like to add some uh, roasted garlic just four cloves chopped roughly. I'm gonna cook these vegetables down. I like to add some smoked paprika now, just a sprinkle. So to the pan now, I'm gonna add my chopped skinned tomatoes, which are gonna melt down. I'm gonna add some artichokes just from a jar. And just a tin of butter beans. The smells and the flavors going on right now. It's like a party and there's layers of it. There's layers to this. And this is where you can get a little stir on, mix it around a bit, and it's nearly time to add the rice. Now I need to introduce the rice to you. If you're gonna make a good paella, go straight to the source, get Valencian rice. Paella rice is a short grain rice. I'll pop a link to where I got this from below the video, but this is how it looks. So before I get my rice in, I'm gonna add some tomato puree and the zest and juice of a lemon. Beautiful. Lemon's gonna help season this up. I like my paella's having a lot of lemon in there, so I'll be adding another one later on. But now, it's time to add the rice. So I get my pan at the ready, make sure everything's evenly distributed, all those ingredients across the pan. Oh. Ready? Get this nice around the pan. Remember, this rice is gonna expand, so don't overdo it. Think less is more with this. What makes paella rice different is that it absorbs a lot of liquid and it's not very starchy. So all of this liquid that we're gonna add and everything that's in that pan is gonna flavor the rice to its core. So let's get this veg stock in. And I will add more, but you just have to keep your eye on it. Okay, so you cannot make paella without saffron. This is Spanish saffron, very, very expensive. It comes from the center of a saffron flower. It's very, very beautiful. It adds this amazing orange hue. Orange hue, that was the word I'm looking for. A beautiful color to the dish. It's grown often in Iran too, but if I'm gonna make paella, I'm gonna need a Spanish one. So I'll pop a link to where I got this below. It's quite pricey, but you have to use it when making paella. And that's why this dish is made for special occasions, essentially. So what I'm gonna do now is put about two teaspoons of this into a foil parcel and just give that a toast over a flame. That's gonna release some of more of the aromas. Then I'll put the toasted saffron into a glass of hot water. Then I'll pour that water into the paella so that the saffron's distributed nice around the pan. So now the hard work is done. We just need to sit back and watch this rice fluff up, absorb all that flavor. I'll move my pan around because I've got a big pan here and my gas ring isn't big enough. There's, there's actually specialist gas rings for making paella. Obviously the bigger pan, the pan, the bigger your gas ring. So I'm just gonna move mine around every now and then I'll give it a little shake. Mum, dad, come and ask me where the mushrooms are. Wow, that's amazing. Where are the right. mushrooms? <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, mother. <laughs> the mushrooms are like a hidden surprise. They're underneath oh, right. this. So there's one sticking through here. That's why I love this vegan paella so much because you've got that surprise underneath with those amazing mushrooms that are meaty and they're going to absorb all of that flavor. The paprika, the saffron, the stock, all of the flavor from the veg too. Wow. Does it smell like you're in Spain? It does actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just want to keep it on it now. Be like 25 minutes bubbling away. Just want that rice to cook and it absorb all the liquid. Just going to add a little bit of seasoning just while it's uh, simmering away. All right, guys. So every now and then I'm giving this a shake. Hopefully my table doesn't collapse. But basically there's something I haven't talked to you about and that's called a soccerat. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But in Valencia, they like a toasted bottom. A toasted bottom. <laughs> Um, I get that when I go to the beach sometimes. <laughs> anyway, a sakurat is when that bottom layer of rice is toasted and it's, it's sort of caramelized and it all sticks together beautifully and that is like the most prized bit of uh, the paella. I think there's a Iranian dish as well that they love that toasted bottom too and they actually turn out the rice. It's beautiful. I forgot the name of the dish so forgive me but that sakurat is something that I want to achieve but it's important not to burn it you don't want it to be black you just want it to be nice and toasted so every now and then I'll give the pan a shake I'll move the pan around and keep adding liquid if you feel it needs it so what I'm looking for here is bits of rice maybe heat spots that I just want to move this around and you'll see that the rice it looks really white when it's undercooked what I'm going to do shortly is just turn the heat off in about two minutes I'm just going to turn the heat off put some foil over the top and just let the residual heat cook that rice and let it go nice and fluffy not always the traditional way of doing it it's just i'm working with my small gas hob here and that foil is just going to help cook this for the remaining time evenly and join me for a small commercial break plants only kitchen my cookbook mighty fine recipes super simple recipes not so much like this but everyday food plants only kitchen if you want a signed copy, my mum, who you saw earlier, actually sends my signed copies out all around the world and you can click below this video to buy one or you can get one off all bookshops, Amazon and things like that too. And uh, I should sell it, I should like tell you about it more but I always forget so there you go, Plants Only Kitchen out now. Alright, paella is ready and it's traditionally served at the table so I got my mum and dad over there ready and waiting. Here we go. Are you excited for this? I'm Can't gonna wait. Can't wait. Hopefully, feels like you're in Spain. <laughs> Where's the wine? Where's the Why didn't you bring the wine out? <laughs> Should have brought the wine out. All right, are you ready? Do you want to come in tight for this? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Fantastic. Mamma mia, is special. And then we've got the mushrooms at the bottom. So I'm going to dig in now. First up, I'm going to put some zest and the juice of a lemon on. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Try and do it more realistic. Wow. wow. Look at that. Wow, it's great. And this should be a nice toasted bottom. Mother? Looks wonderful, thank you. You can taste first. Mmm. Okay. It's um, lem lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Hey, come in tight, come in tight. Let's get that mushroom there. Look at that mushroom. There you go. And that is the uh, nice toasted bottom there. Mm. No different. All right. This is unbelievable. The rice is creamy, got the smokiness, the lovely saffron flavor comes through. And it's just, 
got a bold flavour from the mushroom, which I've got now. I hope I've done Valencia's, thank you. Hope I've done Valencia's dish justice. You certainly have. Well, we have to leave it to the Spaniards to let me know. Mm -hmm. But be nice to me. I've tried to be as authentic as possible. And I hope you get to try this at home. All right, I really want my camera crew to taste this because I want some really good reactions because, sorry, you're not that good at giving We're a good reaction. We're used to it, We're used to it. This used nice to good food. food. There yeah. you go. All right, Marcus. How are we going to do this? I'll dish it up for you. All right, let's see the reaction. Gross. What do you think? Well, first, it smells delicious. Let's give it a try. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the Spain in one plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of reaction. No, it's, 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 it's delicious. The, the rice is really creamy. Mm. And the, have you had any of the mushroom? You may just want to pick that up. Oh, you got it. There you go. Leaves no room for words, you just gotta try it. <laughs> Alright, Tom, your turn to taste. Is it like being in Spain? That is incredible. I approve. Delicious. Perfect. And there we go. There's my vegan paella. I'm very proud of this. Try it at home. It's worth it for special occasion, I promise you. Unbelievable. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Plants Only Kitchen cookbook is out now and the necklaces too. Mum, show the necklace. Look at that, swag. On my website. What's well, goodbye in Spanish? The same, ciao. Is it? Adios. 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 Ciao. It's not Adios. the same. Yeah, it exactly. is, yeah. they say the same, they oh. say ciao. All right, adios amigos. Adios. Am I looking fresh, Tom? Sure, I shouldn't be wearing Marcus' do rag. Damn, bro. Back in my parents. Oh. I'm back out in my parents' garden, or I'm back in. I'm back yeah, in. Back in. <laughs> in the outside of my parents' garden. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Were you high filming this?" No, I'm just funny. <laughs> or, st or stupid. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>